I am Sergeant Tamela Skaggs. It's T A M E L A S K A G G S. Sure. Just after 10 p.m. Uh, on Friday night, the Buckeye Police Department received a call uh, from a witness at the Circle K on Watson Road, just north of, correction, on, can we start over? Yep. I'm so sorry. Um, on Friday night, just after 10 p.m. on Watson Road at the I-10 at the Circle K, we received a call from a witness who, received, who re told us about uh, an assault a possible abduction of a female that she saw a male subject. Um, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm just getting information. I'm filling in for our PIO today. Okay, are we ready? So on Friday night, just after 10 p.m. at the Circle K on Watson Road at the I-10, Buckeye Police Department received a call from a witness who observed a male subject dragging a female into a vehicle, uh, and that vehicle sped off onto Watson Road near the I-10. Uh, that witness was extremely concerned, called it in as a possible abduction into the Buckeye Police Department. Uh, so we're here today asking for information, uh, anybody who has any information into that uh, incident to call us um, and help us identify those two subjects, that male and female, uh, and help provide us with information so we can identify them and help and see if that woman is okay. Tomato? Uh, do you know anything about their relationship to one another because they came in the vehicle together, is that correct? Yeah, unfortunately we know nothing about these two subjects, if they know each other, um, if they're in a relationship together, we know, know nothing about them. Based on the video, are you concerned for this woman and her safety? Absolutely. That, uh, that video is extremely concerning to us, and we understand that that video would be concerning to the viewers that are watching it. Uh, so that's why we are here today asking for information from the public to help us identify these two subjects uh, and help us with information in identifying them so we can, again, uh, help identify them and uh, see if this woman is okay. From the video, we saw that they had just pulled up next to the gas pump, and then that whole happened, took off. Are you guys like hearing from any other gas stations or anything, possible sightings? Because had to probably pull up and wait there. Yeah, at this time, we have received the one call from the one witness that night. We've received no other information from anybody. Do you have a description of the vehicle? Uh, the vehicle is a gray SUV. Um, our detectives do believe that this is between a 21 and a 23 Nissan Rogue. Yes, ma'am. A 2021 and a 2023 Nissan Rogue is what our detectives believe. You got some pretty clear video, it looks like, from that gas station. Can you talk about how you got that? I'm assuming working with the gas station. That's correct. That, that uh, video did come from the Circle K gas station. Um, and it, again, it does look pretty clear. So that's how we were able to obtain that video and put it out to the public. Yeah, we don't have any plates and we were, you know, even trying to zoom into the vehicle from the video from Circle K, we weren't able to see any clear vision of the license plate. Any idea on the direction they were headed? Any other videos or anything? From what we do see is that the vehicle was last seen northbound on Watson towards the I-10, uh, but we don't know if it went north of I-10 or eastbound or westbound on the I-10. Absolutely. We did send out a bulletin to other law enforcement agencies uh, in the Valley. We are urging other law enforcement agencies if this is uh, some type of crime trend or if they have any related incidences that involve this to please contact us immediately uh, and let us know if this is something that matches any type of cases that they are currently working. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why we're putting this video out is if anybody who was there that night, uh, I mean, they may see their vehicle in that video and know that, oh, you know, that's my vehicle. Please contact us. Maybe they saw something and didn't think to call us at that time, but please call us now um, and provide us with any information that you may not have thought was uh, important at that time. It is important now. 
Um, but again, at that time and as of now, we have only received the one call from the one witness. So please, anybody else who has information to please call us with any information you may have. Sure, any, we are looking into any leads at this time. Um, I, I don't have that information right now. Were there any other cameras like in the area that knew when they went west? Or? Yeah, so our officers, the patrol officers that night did canvas the, the specific area, that um, the business complex area, and nothing panned out with any leads providing us with that particular vehicle, giving us a license plate or anything like that. Absolutely. Yeah, and this, uh, the woman who did call, the witness that called in, uh, clearly saw something that was concerning to her and she called and we are grateful and thankful to her. Uh, but again, this is why we are urging anybody else and, and watching that video, you see the, the parking lot was pretty busy. It was just after 10 p.m., so pretty early in the evening. Uh, so anybody else who was there at the, the business at that time and you were there and you saw something, please call us now and provide us with any information you may have. Last Friday night. Say that one more time. Uh, so were there, there was an issue with the quality of the video. So our detectives have been involved um, in investigating it and they were just able to obtain some better quality video. That's why it was put out to the, um, on social media and to the public. Absolutely. So our, our tip line is to the Buckeye Police Department is 623-349-6411 or our website at buckeyeaz.gov slash crime tip. Unfortunately, it's unknown. There's, there's too many unknowns in this investigation, unfortunately. That video right now is what we have. Sure. Absolutely. It, it is extremely crucial. I mean, watching that video and um, the scrutiny of that video itself is making it more. Um, I'm trying to think of what to say. Um, the the time in this video is uh, essent for that that woman that we want to make sure that she's safe. I'm so sorry. Unfortunately, that's not any information that we, we have. I don't believe that that's any information that the detect detectives were able to see from the video and nothing that the witness um, said that they saw. Uh, that's nothing else that we have to provide. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Yes. Just given that potential abduction and possible state lines, is the FBI possibly getting involved in this? If they did abduct or possibly go over state lines? Sure. I, I don't have that information right now, but I, w I would assume our detectives would be working with them if. Sorry, guys. If that was something that was um, uh, foreseen, I'm sure our detectives would be working with them, but I don't unfortunately have that information. And I apologize if you already answered this question. Regardless of family or friends or anything, does anyone kind of come forward to talk about this to police or anything like that? We have had no information come forward to us besides the one witness that night. So that's why we're here today asking for any information of anybody who has any information to please come forward to us now. Absolutely, it's, it's a scary video, video to see. Uh, so that's why, again, we are urging the public 
anybody with information, uh, anybody who was at the store that night that may have seen something to please call us with any information. We have unfortunately no information on that. Real quick, um, you mentioned tips, and I think that's why, like, it's just, you know, just that one witness. Um, people might be like, well, I don't know anything, I don't know. How important is it, even if you doubt what you saw or anything like that, for someone to just come on? How, like, what little details are you can put in almost anything? Sure, any little tip at all. Maybe you saw something hanging from the rearview mirror of that, uh, that vehicle passing by, maybe you saw um, a sticker in the back window, something as small as that, that little bit of detail will help us in this, that investigation. Those little details right now, that is something we don't have right now. So those little details will help us. Um, if you think that it's not going to matter, it really does matter. So please contact, contact us with any information you may have. Sure. Sure, again, our tip line is 623-349-6411, or our website tips is buckeyeaz.gov slash crime tip. One last question, how important is timing in this case? Sure, the timing in this investigation is extremely crucial. Um, watching that video, uh, we are concerned for that female. So we, again, urge anybody with information to come forward. Um, our detectives are working this investigation um, constantly. So again, any information will help us, um, help us in this investigation. Thank you for asking that again.